What's going on guys? Welcome back to my front porch and to my channel. Um, got another disc review slash comparison video I'm going to do to you. So this one might be just a little bit longer. It's not just a straight review. I'm comparing some discs. Uh, just like last time, I'm taking one mold from Prodigy and I'm going to compare it to, I think, uh, three other uh, molds that are from three different companies. So first off, I'm gonna start. These are both Street Team stamped um, A2s from Prodigy. Uh, one is 400, one is 350G. Uh, I'll start out with the rim profile on these. It's got a fairly sharp uh, rim profile compared to the other discs we'll be reviewing. This is the 350G. Uh, when it comes to feel, it's got a little bit of dome to it. I think the 350G is a little bit flatter. And uh, it's real. this one's got a lot of um, kind of slick but still has some good grip to it. 350G is one that's quite grippy and uh, it's the kind of disc, uh, the plastic that I'll throw whenever I want something to not skip as much. So that's the feel on that one. The next is Discmania's Evolution, uh, I think it's the Evolution line, I don't know, not much on Discmania, but it's the Tactic. So here's the rim profile on it, like I said, it's a little bit blunter, still still a, a little bit of a sharpness to it, but not much. But here's a big difference from the A2 to the Tactic, is this is board flat. I've got two different plastics too, so here is the Soft XO or XO Soft, I don't know how to, and then I got hard so the hard is it's pretty stiff it's a pretty stiff plastic uh, it's not the stiffest baseline I've ever felt but it is pretty stiff and soft um, if I had to compare this soft to any other uh, plastic that I've felt I actually would compare it in stiffness to 300 soft from Prodigy because that plastic isn't crazy soft, but it is soft enough to bend and stuff. So there's that rim. Now here's one. This is from uh, West Side Discs. I know a lot of people know this. It's the Harp. Very similar rim profile to the Tactic. Uh, let me fill them side by side. I feel like. Maybe the tactic is just a tad bit uh, shallower than the harp, but this is a disc I used to throw a lot. I've got it in two different plastics here. This is a brand new VIP, and this is one I used to throw. It's a tournament, uh, VIP and tournament, and at least these two runs don't feel a whole lot of different. Uh, I think VIP is the one that's like Lucid from Dynamic, or Champion from uh, Innova, but both of these actually feel pretty similar to me. And then, of course, the last disc, the one that people love. It doesn't have the stamp on it, but this is the zone from Discraft. There's the rim. Pretty much similar to the harp and the tactic. Um, I feel like Maybe it's the shallowest rim. It, it's not much. Look at his stamp though. Shout out to my buddy Levi McKinney for hooking me up with these. I think this is ESP plastic is what he told me. Hooked me up with these. Um, just a little insight on y'all. I'm going to be doing giveaways and one of these zones might be one of the giveaways I do here soon. I need to get to that 200 sub mark. But back to the disc. It's another flat. If I say, I didn't say that for the harp, but all of these last three are all board flat discs. Um, if I hold any of them up to the A2, you'll see the rim difference right off. It's just A2 is sharper. And I can't remember, I don't know the numbers on A2, I can't remember if it is a faster disc or not. I think all these are probably speed four. I just don't know about the A2, but look at these rims side by side. Very small differences. And I think looking at them like this, I can tell that the zone is the shallowest, but 
there you are. So primarily, uh, most of these discs are going to be um, pretty overstable. Reason I chose the A2 for this uh, review over top of any of the other A series is the rim purely is the closest in feel to any of these discs, Tactic Zone, Harp. They all have uh, a little bit different feel than an A2, but if I had to pick one from the Prodigy lineup, A2 would be the closest in feel. It's gonna be really overstable. I feel like it's gonna be the most overstable one, but feel-wise, it's closer than an A3 or an A1, because uh, both of those have beads, and I believe an A4 has some weird little Beer, bead roll on the bottom of it so um, that's why I'm doing the A2 instead of putting the A2 in that last video I did but uh, yeah we're going to see how these fly side by side and um, well, I'll just tell you a little bit about how each one of them flies and my own personal thoughts on it so uh, remember like these videos and leave me some comments on what you want to see and uh Give me some subs, share these videos, share my channel, because like I said, I'm going to be giving a disc away, and there's a chance that you could win it. I'll po I'll tell you how at the end of the video, how you're going to be eligible to, so keep that in mind, but let's get to throws. Alright, so uh, since I'm on the street team, I'm going to start with Prodigy first, start with 400 A2, throwing at that red basket out there. And I guess the red truck. Immediate dump on a 350G. Pretty much identical. I'll start with the hard plastic first. Try to throw it the same. That landed it on one of the A2s. First thoughts on that throw was it, it hooks up, but it feels like it's a slower hookup than the A2. Let's go with the saw. That one I threw a little bit flatter or either just a little bit more angle on it. About fell. Same distance wise power. Hmm. Hold it. Pretty similar. Now the zone. Let's go with pinky first. Got the hook up. USPS got to pull out there. Alright, so while I'm walking to get these, I'll give you my little thoughts on it. Um, straight off, I feel like the Tactic is uh, the less stable of all of them. Um, I've not got the Razor Claw, the premium plastic, but seems to be the least stable. A2, as I predicted, feels like it's the most overstable. Um, and I do believe, I don't know, the Harp could be the tallest one and the zone is definitely the most shallow so I mean the zone's probably gonna be good on the forehand I used to throw one and 
I know a lot of people like the shallowness for forehanding, so there's that. The A2 is probably another one that's pretty comfortable uh, for forehanding, but I've gotten used to it. It's just finding a good flat one that feels really good. But uh, speaking of forehands, let's just go ahead. I've got these picked up. They were all really close to each other, so landing spots wasn't much different. So let's throw some forehands next. So we'll start with the forehander first. I'm gonna try to release them all a little bit higher too. Pulled it a little bit, but hard yet. That one was better. Much more gradual of a fade. It's not too bad. It had a little bit of wobble to it, just a little bit, but not too bad. Ooh, I came over just a little bit on that one. It still handled it okay though. Now feeling these all one right after the other, I can tell the slight differences. I used to throw hard all the time, so I can tell this one's a little bit deeper than the tack. Has a tad bit of wobble on it. That was a cleaner release. Definitely right now between the A2 and probably the zone, that would be the most comfortable to me forehand. That was pretty clean. Seems like it's got a lot of torque resistance to it. And it didn't wobble much either, so it's pretty clean flat. You kidding me? Did you see that? For one, I'm calling BS on it, but I went through the tree trunks. I went right through the tree trunks and did center chains. <laughs> that tree's impossible to go through and I just did somehow. I just, I ninja it. Y'all can't have that zone. I'm gonna keep that one for the wall. Man, that was nuts. Why didn't I do that with an A2? To make my discs look better. Uh, so, let's forget what just happened for a second. Uh, go to the walk review. So, right at the gate, with not crazy overpowered forehands, obviously, again, I'm sure you could tell, the A2 is the most overstable out of all of them. Uh, it had a really clean release though to me, so it's got a really clean release and um, I'm going to suggest if you want to throw the A2 But you want it to not be quite as overstable get baseline and just start throwing it Get you a good baseline like I think 300 is probably one of the best baseline feeling 350 G is not bad either. It's just stiffer But get one of those and start throwing it and getting it beat in and those actually turn into really good flyers but I just feel like they have more distance potential on them. Uh, so once they beat in, they might go further. But straight out the box, they're way more overstable. Uh, but they release clean. Now, the tactic. Uh, I feel like it's, like I said, just like the backhand, it feels the least stable or least overstable from wherever you're from. Uh, out of the uh, four still not a bad choice I, I wish I could have got a razor claw so I could test it if the premium plastic makes it a little bit more stable but um, 
it's not bad comfort wise the harp and the tact tactics sit pretty similar on the uh, depth side but uh outside of that i mean it does okay uh give it a try it might feel comfortable to you especially if you got bigger hands and uh the harp i mean i've always liked the harp uh now if i went back to another company which i don't see that happening uh i would probably pick the zone just comfort wise look at this rainbow stamp that's pretty cool that's like i don't know 250 maybe but uh yeah uh, the harp you're looking at a very similar uh flight now let me tell you if you get a harp in the baseline plastic um it's not going to be quite as overstable and it will beat into straight that's what i used to love them for i didn't really throw them for the overstability i threw them for how straight i could get them on four hands so i'm sure you can do that with zones as well but uh yeah i'm gonna tell you uh picking between the a2 uh, and the zone is going to be where you're at, probably comfort-wise for forehands. Uh, if you want something pretty beefy, go with the A2. The zone is beefy, but uh, the A2 definitely hooks up more. But let's uh, get to some full power, or at least some high power backhands and see what they do. And then we'll do the same with forehands. Fairly straight, with some hook up at the end. I can try on this. Yeah. yeah it's got some good distance, and I put a little Anheuser on it. Harp next with the VIP. Definitely more overstable. I think it landed on top of one of the tactics. Pretty sure I just landed on top of them other two. more overstable than the last two. Good. I fought through that tree and I think... Alright, so on those full powers, I tried to talk a little bit while I was throwing it, but once again, I'm pretty sure the A2 has the most quick hookup and most overstability to it. Uh, I probably chunked the crap out of one of them on the driveway but the A2 then right behind that is the zone uh, I think what's getting with the zone and the harp and tactic is I believe they're a little bit slower than the A2 could be wrong but it just feels a little bit slower in flight so their turns are a little bit uh, less severe but uh yeah it's I think it's the same story every time the tactic is the least stable and the zone and the a2 are at the top in stability a2 beating out the zone by a little bit but uh i got the most distance probably with the tactic so if you're wanting a similar similar flight just a little bit different feel but need more uh distance like i'd say uh talking to somebody that's more new 
and they want a flight like that but a zone is going to be too much maybe go with the tactic and see if it feels okay to you you'll probably get more distance than you would with a zone definitely than a2 and uh it would do the same thing for you so yeah do that hello wife uh, to uh, let you know on the giveaway for one i'm gonna have to get to at least 200 subscribers before i do it but this zone this pretty zone i'm going to give away and it'll be available on all platforms my facebook uh, page my youtube and instagram um to be eligible you're going to have to be subscribed and you're also going to have to comment a number between one and 100 i'm stealing that from you basinger thank you for the idea <laughs> but you're gonna have to do that and make sure if you're on youtube that you keep up with your comments if i reply because that's how i'm going to get in contact with you i'm gonna have to comment and then we're gonna have to figure out like email or something to get back and forth so um comment between one and 100 and then once i'm at my subscriber goal i will go through who all is commented and i will pick a winner but yeah thanks for watching this and give me some ideas on some discs you want me to review and compare so yeah till next time peace